Let's move on and see how to unlock LUX encrypted drives with a key file. DMCrypt and LUX enabled devices may hold up to 10 different key files or passwords. In the last lecture, we've encrypted the USB disk using a passphrase. So, next to having the already set up password, we are going to add a secret key file as an additional authorization method. Let's generate the key file. There are more approaches, but I'll choose the easiest one. I'm gonna use the dd command and dev urandom to generate a random key. So dd if dev urandom output file equals slash root let's say key file, the name of the file. Bytes 124 and count 4. This will create a file with random content with the size of 4096 bits, which is like a 30, 40 character password. By the way, you can use any file as key file, but I think one with a random content is a very good and secure one. Perfect, this is the random key file. It's not an ASCII file. Optionally, for extra security, you can encrypt the key file symmetrically using GPG. And I will make the key file readable only by root. If a hacker gets access to the key file, that user, the hacker, is already logged in as root, and you have a bigger problem anyway. Change mode, 400 and the file. These are the right permissions for the file. We have a USB disk that's already set up for dmcrypt and lux and it was encrypted using a password. I'm going to add the key file as an additional authorization method. Crypt setup lux add key the name of the drive slash dev slash sdb don't forget to use the correct name i want to check it again i must be root okay its name is sdb and the path to the key file root key file and i'm prompting to enter an existing password to unlock the drive. This is the password from the previous lecture when we've set up the drive. And it's done. The key was added as an additional authorization method. Now the drive is locked, so let's try to unlock it using the secret key, the secret file. Crypt setup. Lux open, the name of the disk, slash dev slash sdb, the name of the mapper file, let's say secret, and then minus minus key minus file, and the correct path to the key file, slash root key file. And it was unlocked. I can mount the encrypted partition anywhere on the main file system and use it normally.